Hello, my name is Electra Andupe and I am from Nigeria. I am a brand and communication strategist and on the online prosperity show today with Prosper, I am going to be talking about ways to leverage social media for your brand. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got the brand sparkler herself, Electra. Electra, how are you doing, my love? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you, Prosper. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Now, viewers, as you would know, every brand or every business has to show up online. Now, we want to help you build a business that's profitable and enjoyable. and what I found out is a lot of people skimp on creating a brand. Now, a brand strategy is one of those things that most marketers or most online business people often think it's not important or don't often think about every single day. Sure, maybe your strategy may play out you know, with tactical activities that keep you busy every single day, but how often do you actually step back and review what is actually working and how your customers are perceiving you? But don't worry, we are going to electrify you today because Electra <laughs> knows a thing or two about a brand strategy. And she will be telling us exactly how she operates. Now, Electra, tell us a little bit about your business and how you help customers. Okay, thank you for asking. Well, um, Shock Creatives is a brand development and management outfit. It's a creative agency. Basically, we do brand identity creation. We do social and content optimization. And then we do creative campaign design. Basically, brand planning, creative and social, creative campaign de and de design, then content and social management. But we found that because when we started our business, we, we found that a whole lot of people down here weren't really, like you said, they weren't really particularly concerned about making sure that they had a brand, a brand identity before entering the marketplace. And so oftentimes you find that they get into the marketplace and they find that, you know, they're just floundering all about, all over the place, you know, without having something that could easily be associated to what they are offering. So um, we started out talking to small business owners. We started out talking to um, individual entrepreneurs, you know, people who felt, okay, hey, I want to start up a business. We started out talking to them about the need for them to create a personal brand of their own. You know, in as much as, hey, you have a service or you have a product you're taking into the market, it's important that you as an individual that is probably going to be the face of the organization. We, we decided to help them come to see that it's important you have your own personal brand. Okay? It's important that you have your own identity that people can easily associate with. You know? And so that was how we, that was how we started out um, Shock Creators. And it's, it's been an interesting journey for us. Uh, understandable. I can imagine. Obviously, I, I do appreciate the work that you guys are doing because the internet is fairly new, um, you know, in third world countries. And also the fact that you now have to sell on social media is also yet, um, you know, another dilemma that a lot of people are facing. So thank you so much for, you know, you know, stepping up and trying to help other people. Now, let's say I'm a business person. And I have my Facebook page, I have my Facebook profile, and an Instagram. Is that enough to constitute that I actually have a brand? Well, we, we, there's something we advise um, new business owners to do. We, in as much as you, you're expected to have an online presence, we're also particular about making sure you don't go overboard. Okay? We advise them to start out lean. So for a start, if your business is something you can um, create a brand identity for using an online brand identity for using, say, Facebook, Instagram, and, and then, of course, your brand identity, brand identity items, we advise you to start out from there first, okay? When you've been able to build some sort of traction, if you feel there are other platforms that you need to, you know, leverage, 
then you can go ahead. But for us, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, okay, those are the basic platforms that we've worked with our clients on and it's proven to, it's been proven to be quite useful for them. So basically we advise that you go ahead and set up some of the social media platforms, you know, basically Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All right. So when somebody then goes out to create, um, you know, those personal brands, what aspects do they need to bring out? Do I have to show every detail about my business? Do I have to show every corner of my shop so that people get to understand what I'm selling or what, what aspects would then constitute, you know, a, a properly curated online presence that customers would also enjoy, um, you know, uh, viewing. Yeah. It, it's important that it's important that you have a very succinct, but, um, um, What's the word? I'm looking for the right word. It's important you have a very succinct introduction of who you are, what you do, you know, so that anybody looking at your profile on social media can easily ascertain what it is you do and who you do it for. You know, basically we help you craft a positioning statement and then we help you feed that positioning statement into your bio. We help you, you know, create the shortest possible version of your positioning statement. And then we help you put, we help you post it on your bio. What that helps to do is that anybody who walks in, who, who opens your, your, who clicks on your social media profile can easily see what it is you're offering. You know, it makes it easier for the person to contact you, to decide, hey, okay, I need this or I don't need this person. And it makes it easier for the person to know how to contact you. So basically what we do, we advise you have your positioning statement, the shortest possible version of your positioning statement on your bio and then your contact details. Because basically um, you don't know how, oftentimes you don't realize how far what you post on social media goes. You don't know who's seeing what you're posting. You don't know who needs your services most times. And so these persons would look at these things and see it in their feed and like, okay, I need that. Okay, how can I reach this person? And then they go to your profile and, and there it's, you know, it makes it easier for you to generate leads for your business. Understandable. So you must be really doing something because I saw your posts on Instagram and I'm in Australia and now we're yeah. talking. So this is proof positive. If you've got your customers that are watching right now that, you yeah. know, your work and your word can go far and wide depending on, yeah. um, you know, how you actually position yourself. Now, yeah. half of the time the internet has become so big and maybe some of your customers just really want to remain local. How then can they just make sure that only their customers around can see um, their messages or is, does that not matter where the messages go? Well, basically Facebook, Facebook and Instagram, um, for you to, for you to, for you to get some sort of, international attention that sort of sort of um, foreign attention outside your immediate environment you probably must be applying um, say a hashtag strategy that's for instagram okay and um, then for facebook facebook probably basically limits what um, you write and what you post to say um your your circle of friends and your contacts and stuff. So basically for you to um, gain some sort of an outside attention, you must be doing something extra. Okay. You must be deliberate about it. So for those who want to remain local, I mean, they just remain local by just doing the normal stuff. <laughs> they just remain local. Okay. But if you, if you intend to get some sort of, you know, foreign attention, then you must be deliberate about it. On, on, on Instagram, you're using your hashtag strategy. You're using a specific hashtag strategy to get the attention. You need. Great stuff. All right. So now that everybody has um, a smartphone and they can actually see whether you're telling the truth or you're lying, how, how important is it for your brand to actually be authentic and to represent exactly what it is um, that you put out there? Well, it's, it's absolutely important. The importance is not, is not something that can be measured, actually. It's beyond important. Because you see, the people, what, what you, 
the face, the, the impression you give people online. They have found actually that there is often a very serious disconnect between um, the impression people have of you from what they read and see online and, and then what they see when they see you in person. There's often a very serious disconnect. So it's important to make sure that the, the impression you're giving people online t is it tailored as closely as possible to who you are in real life. This is so the person doesn't get disillusioned when they see you, you know, for those you will meet. Oftentimes, most of the things you do might just be online. You might not even get to see some of your clients. That's if you have an online product you're selling from your online store and stuff, you might not necessarily need to meet, meet your clients offline. But in rare cases where you need to, then it's important that you're authentic about your brand. It is very important. It's important you leave what you say. Now, let me give you an instance. Somebody called me, somebody that saw me on Facebook that had been following my post on Facebook called me up, um, I think three days ago. And then when he had my voice, he was like, oh, okay, you sound exactly like what you posted on Facebook. I was like, you know, I didn't quite, I was, in my heart I thought, why don't I sound like, it didn't occur to me that there might, <laughs> there might actually be a difference between how I talk and the things I write about. Okay, so I was like, oh, you sound exactly like what you post on Facebook. I'm like, okay, how else am I supposed to sound? Okay, so I think it's important that when people read about you and then possibly talk to you, that they can be able to synchronize their impression of you from what they've read to what they're hearing you say and how you sound. So I think authenticity is very important. Very Understand important understandable because people only do business with those that they know like and trust so yeah essentially if people cannot trust you and they don't know you enough and you're not putting out content there it will be difficult for people to actually convert to become your customers now you know electra you have you know put a bright spark on our show today just in case somebody um you know has w enjoyed watching this show and they want to get a hold of you or one of your clients is watching how best can somebody um get a hold of you um you know so that they can start working with you and creating and crafting their own brand um i think the best way to get get in touch with me is via my instagram it's um it's it's the best platform for me right now you know because i'm often there a lot and it helps me it gives me um it gives me a relative um, amount of ease you know to be able to connect with people as opposed to facebook and the rest so instagram is best and i can be reached on at electron degree underscore degree that's electra underscore degree Right. Thank you so much. Well, whether you're starting your business and if you're watching this video um, and you know, you're interested in what Electra has to say, I'm going to put in all the details of how to get a hold of her at the bottom there. And at the end of the day, guys, if your brand is not representing who you are and what you present or who you sell to or why your story needs to be heard, no one is going to make a purchase from you. So all you have to do is figure out how you can deliver your story so that people can actually, um, you know, connect with you in a way that they will make transactions with you because people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. And the only way that people can get to know you is by you putting your brand out there and getting the exposure that social media can avail to you. Now, Electra, thank you so much for your time today. And um, I really hope that you, know, your, you and your clients are going to have a fantastic day moving on. Okay. Thank you so much for having me. Great stuff. Enjoy the rest of your day. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Okay. <laughs>